Stupid. It's fucking stupid. If you guys have nothing to say, I'm, I'm closing the fucking lines down. Look it. This is the last caller. This is it. This is it. And don't bitch at me when you when you complain that you tried to call in and you couldn't get to me. Because these fucking losers are ruining the goddamn show. They're fucking losers. They're fat. They're 40 years old. And they're living in their parents' basement. They get so fucking sick of this shit. Let's go. Hello, you're on the air. Oh. This is it. Last caller. I'm done. I, I, I see new numbers all the time. I'm trying to get to you. I'm trying to get to you. Because I know there's quality callers trying to call in right now. I can't fucking do this. I can't fucking do this. This is it. Last caller. If it's shit, it's shit. Blame the fucking retarded community in here. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, you're on the air. No, we're done. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. We're fucking done with that shit. Fuck off. Fuck off. We're fucking done with that shit. You can kiss my fucking ass. We're fucking done with that shit. So fuck it. You didn't get the call in too fucking bad. Leave a comment on the video. What's up, YouTube Revolutions? I'm Infected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. So that was Michael Does Life on a Dying Light stream called Dying Light 2 is Officially Screwed. And he's continuing to ramble on about the same shit over and over and over again on stream even though Teclan has come out and even confirmed to us and showed us the last gen gameplay of ps4 and xbox one footage and i don't really see much that's really wrong with it yes a lot of games are not perfect and stuff but the thing is this guy nitpicks all the time i don't know if this guy is literally i don't know if he cares about gaming in general, or is he just doing this for attention? I honestly do not know at this point, but it is honestly fucking hilarious how much he fucking like swears on stream and gets so pissed off at the prank callers. It's fucking hilarious, guys. I cannot stop laughing. I don't know how long Michael Does Life is gonna keep up this don't buy dying light two type thing, because the thing is, we are less than a week from release and the game is extremely quickly coming up. February 4th, 2022 is almost upon us. And even after release, is he still going to keep doing this? Like if Dying Light 2 ends up being like extremely successful, like say for example, if it does, let me guess, he's probably going to move on to Horizon Forbidden West. Don't buy Horizon Forbidden West because that's the next one of the, the next one of the big games that are coming up. He always wants to do this with big games that are coming up. Like, because ever since Cyberpunk, you know, disappointed, he's going to assume every game is going to be extremely disappointing. He's going to nitpick everything. He's going to look through everything. And, you know, like, the gaming industry and stuff may not be perfect at times, but games have evolved and they started to look really good over the past many, many years because video game evolution goes up and up and up and up. Like, here's the thing. Video game evolution, I think, is almost over. Video game evolution is almost over because video games are starting to look almost like real life pretty much at this point. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. But yeah, if you're a Dying Light fan, consider subscribing to the channel and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay with and fast reach out your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out. Relax.